Hi, welcome to Whimsical Party Gallery. We are so excited to launch our new site. And I just wanna take a minute to walk you through a couple steps. So the thing I'm gonna focus on right now is registering for a DIY party. We have a menu up here at the top of the page that allows you to click on different things and you wanna focus on the DIY party choices. But you can also scroll down to our collections gallery here and click on DIY party choices right here. This is gonna take you to all of our products that are available to make at a party. So there are clocks and trays and mason jar boxes and then all of the different signs. You can see that there are two pages to this. So if you can't find the sign you're looking for, it's likely on the next page. For purposes of this demo, I'm gonna click on the 12 by 16 sign. This is what the product page looks like that you're gonna encounter. It shows pictures and examples of various size signs, both with and without frames. Frames are an upcharge, so for the 12 by 16, the upcharge is $5, and you can see that change right here. The next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to pick your party. So I'm going to pick Saturday, April 13th. This is Melissa's private party, and I'm going to add that to the cart. Once I have added that to the cart, you're going to go to your cart page. You're going to double check that all of this information is correct. So you can see here that it says frame. Yes, I'd like a frame. You can see that upcharge. Uh, the di party date is Saturday the uh, 13th of April. And Melissa's party is from one to four, so that's true. Now I, had two, I have too many signs here, so I'm gonna update my cart. Once that's updated, I'm gonna wait for the page to reload, and there's a really important thing that you're going to have to do next. So you're gonna have to tell me what you'd like to make and so if you scroll down here you can see that there is a design instructions form and this is where you're going to give me the details of your design choice uh, you can also upload now an example right here you can upload a file so if you have a screenshot that you've taken or that you have um, saved a photo from pinterest you can upload that file here and share it with me you're going to make sure that you put your party date in here so that is the 13th of April, you're gonna include your first and last name in this field. In here, you're gonna to describe to me your design instructions. So you want me to um, have, we're gonna make a sign that says, let's just pretend it's gonna be say home sweet home. And you, you want that in, you want home in black letters and sweet in script letters. Please see image or um, font types. But you also want this to be um, in landscape or horizon mode, right? So horizontal. We'll just say horizontal so you understand what that is. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, you can always call me, but that's you want to leave some information here. Remember that you do your paint and stain colors at the party, so that isn't an option you don't have that you have to worry about right now. You're going to leave your email, or if you'd rather, you can leave your cell phone right here for us to text back and forth. Here again is where you upload a file. So you're going to click upload a file. You're going to choose a file from your desktop. Um, just to be really quick, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time looking for one. I'm just going to find one that I want to grab here. You can see it's uploaded. You can see the name and that it's a JPEG, so that tells you that it is um, all there. Then you're gonna submit your design, but as you can see here, it says, don't forget to check out. That's really important. You don't wanna forget that part. So this, all this is is the design instructions you're gonna to have to return to the top here. So after you submit this design, it says, thanks for your design. Be sure to visit the checkout. Then you're gonna go here and you are going to check out. Now, when you initially check out, this is saving all my information. None of this is going to be filled out. And you are going to have to go back and change and enter in all of your billing address and continue to your payment method and whatnot. So this is all pretty standard. Um, if you do any shopping online, you can use your credit card. We also have a PayPal option. Um, and then you can complete your order. So I hope that that gives you a little bit of context in order to create your um, party order. And if you have any questions, as always, just give me a call. So thank you very much.